at this moment in hockey history. The National Predators currently find themselves in sixth place in the Central Division after 11 games played on the season. A record of five and six has them at 10 points. They are five points behind the first place Dallas Stars. So if we started at the top of the Central Division and worked our way down, you would find those Dallas Stars with a record of seven, two and one and 15 points in first place. The Colorado Avalanche behind them in second, seven, three and oh at 14 points. The Winnipeg Jets have 12 points. The St. Louis Blues and the Arizona Coyotes are at 11 points in fourth and fifth. Then you'll find the National Purse in sixth with 10. The Minnesota Wild also have 10 points in seventh place. And Chicago Blackhawks have eight points, only two points behind the Nashville Predators. So the Preds are five points out of first place, but only two points ahead of eighth place, last place. On the road, which is where the National Predators next game will take place. Game four of their five-game road trip. They have a record of two and four on the season. An even split, 32 goals for, 32 goals against. That is going to make the numbers pretty easy to figure out. For the National Predators, once they wrap up this game, they'll go one more game on this road trip, and that's going to be Thursday in Winnipeg, and then Saturday back home to face off for the first time this season against the Arizona Coyotes. On the 14th of November, they'll welcome in the Anaheim Ducks. The 18th, the Chicago Blackhawks. And on the 20th of November, the first match of the season between the Nashville Predators and the Colorado Avalanche that will happen at Bridgestone Arena. Now, the Preds' next game I've already mentioned is on the road a couple of times. Who are they playing against? Well, it's the Calgary Flames. This will be the first of three regular season meetings between the Nashville Predators and the Calgary Flames. They will play again on November the 22nd when Calgary will be here in Nashville at Bridgestone Arena. On the 4th of January, the Nashville Predators will also host the Calgary Flames. That will be the third and final regular season meeting between these two Western Conference rivals. At this moment in the season, the Calgary Flames are 3 7 and 1. That's good for 7 points, but 6th in the Pacific Division. On home ice, a record of 1 and 3. They've scored 28 goals on the season. They've given up 41 against. They have a goal differential of minus 13. In their most recent stretch of games, let's go back and talk about a sample size of 5. We'll go back to October the 24th and start right there with a 3 to 1 loss versus the New York Rangers on the 26th of October. A 3 0 loss versus the St. Louis Blues on the 29th of October. A 5 to 2 loss versus the Edmonton Oilers outdoor game. Heritage. Classic. I'm sure everybody got a chance to look at that wonderful, wonderful event on the 1st of November. It was a 4-3 loss versus the Dallas Stars, and most recently on the 4th of November, a 6-3 win at Seattle. Vladar got the start and the victory, 17 out of 20 overall. Light workload for him in that game. When it comes to the NHL rankings in this matchup and the numbers, National Predators scoring 2.91 goals for per game. That is 20th overall in the NHL. The Calgary Flames are scoring 2.55 per game. That's 28th in the NHL. The difference for the Nashville Predators between goals for and goals against? Well, there is none. It's exactly the same. 2.91 in the goals against category, but it is 11th best in the NHL in this particular category. In the goals against category for the Calgary Flames, 3.64 per game is 29th overall in the NHL. And the National Predators' second game in a row where they're facing off a team that has given up many goals against the Edmonton Oilers. We're giving up four per game going into the previous matchup. In the shots for category, the Preds 31.5 per game is 15th best in the NHL, while Calgary's generating 32.6 on net per game. That is a 10th best metric in the league. In the shots against category, both of these teams top 10. 29.5 against for the Preds is 10th overall. Shots against on Calgary, 28.5 is 6th, and you can see how they utilize that skill set most recently. They went over Seattle, only giving up 20 shots on goal against the Kraken. When it comes to the special teams units, National Purse power play has been doing better as of late. Their power play is converting at 23.4%. That's 12th best in the league. 11 out of 47 is the raw data. The penalty power play for the Calgary Flames, 18% conversion rate, 20th in the league. Seven power play goals on 39 opportunities. The penalty kill for the Nashville Predators, quite bad. 31st in the league. They've given up 12 power play goals against, and they're only killing off 66.7% of the penalties against them. The Calgary Flames doing considerably better in this category. 89.5% kill rate is fourth best in the NHL, and they have only given up four power play goals against. When it comes to every team in the NHL, they have plenty of high-skilled individuals and scorers, so let's talk about the top five from each team. Let's start on the home team, the Calgary Flames side. Lindholm leads the team. Two goals, six assists for eight total points. Four goals is the top. So that's Manji Payne, and three assists. That is seven. Then you'll see Jonathan Huberto at two and four for six. Uyghur is a two goals and three assists for five points. Backlund, two goals, three assists for five points as well. When it comes to the Nashville Predators, Philip Forsberg now two goals, 10 assists. The 10 assists leads the team. 12 points also leads the team. More than 
a point per game for Philip Forsberg. Ryan O'Reilly at seven goals. That leads the Nashville Purs at this time of the season. Plus four assists is 11 points, also a point per game player. Tommy Novak is at six and three, four, nine, just one goal off the team pace. Yossi is at two and six, four, eight. And Luke Evangelista quietly in the top five and scoring a goal and six assists for seven total points. When it comes to the goaltending matchup, you see Soros four and five expected to get the start of 909 save percentage, 2.68 goals against average with one shutout against Seattle. Lankinen's updated numbers, one and one on the season with a 900 save percentage and a 3.01 Goals against average. The goaltending for the Calgary Flames. Markstrom, record bad. 1 6 and 1. 8 9 7 save percentage. 3.03 goals against average. Vladar, 2 1 and 0. Oh. So of the Calgary Flames, three victories on the season. It is Vladar picking up two of them. He's 2 1 and 0 oh with an 8 4 4 save percentage and a goals against average of four. That's going to do it for getting you all set up for the Nashville Predators' only trip to Calgary this season. Always look forward to games between the Nashville Predators and Calgary Flames. They seem to transcend coaching changes player personnel changes it seems like whenever these two teams get together it's a highly spirited affair and i'm always very much looking forward to those games preds only trip to calgary this year two more games against the flames after this both of them at bridgestone arena that's got you all set now we got to go back and talk about the preds last road game that was in edmonton against the oilers just saturday afternoon matinee it's coming up next it's called the reverse sports full game recap and this is the renegades of puck podcast 